Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today, guys, a um, couple of awesome things. We are back on the solo game world. We are on our RG at the moment, and we are near Far's Peak, guys, and that is because it is just about time that we went ahead and tamed ourselves a griffin. Now, I'm not level 85, but I am wearing a gold crown. I was able to go ahead and get one of those from the in-game store. Um, I could probably kill enough griffins to find one that ended in the last uh, same last name as me, which is uh, the N.A last name but uh that would be a lot of effort and i actually do just like the way that the gold crown looks anyway i also got that molten implant uh skin implant graft thing which i do very much love so um for the december primal pass loot guys they did give us three griffin kibble so i actually am all set up to tame a griffin uh between that and purchasing the gold crown we should be totally fine to tame most griffins on the server that i can find i also reran the lava cave a couple of times and on my second or third try here um on one of them i got this ascendant long neck rifle and on another one i got a mastercraft so we do have this ascendant rifle it's not the best ever but it is pretty darn good and i will take it and so what we are going to do here is set ourselves up a griffin trap now, I'm hoping to be able to continue using this griffin trap uh, for quite a while. So I'm just going to set up a series of gate frames here. So hopefully this will be big enough. It definitely should be. Yeah, it should be. And I don't think that the griffin can fly through here. I'm going to double check just to make sure. I do have a couple of extra gate frames in case this doesn't work quite as I was expecting. But these should be too small for a griffin to get through. Yes. Okay, they are. Awesome. That makes my life really easy. So now, uh, basically, what I'm going to do is uh, set up a couple of gates here as well. You know, I probably should have hopped off to do this. <laughs> so if we set up a couple of gates um, on the first door and this last door here... There we go. So now I'm going to open this, and then we're going to get the griffin to fly in. Hopefully it come all the way up here, and then I should be able to run here and lock that gate, I think. So hopefully this works out, because guys, over here, I did actually see a pretty decent level female griffin. She's a level 95. Uh, let's see if I can find her real quick here. She's kind of over in this area. I do have a few griffins spawning in this general area. There's one. I don't know if that's her, though. There were a couple in this area. No, that's the male. There was a high-level female sort of over here. Okay, so there she is. So it's the one with the black wings here. This is a... Rad Mommy, she is a level 95 female. I don't know why I'm always finding griffins that end in that uh, apostrophe I name. But yeah, it's going to be good. We're going to try and get her into the trap here. She should aggro on us. Hopefully just her. Yes, just her. The other two are decent levels. Um, they're not great. They're like level 20 and 15, I think. So uh, definitely going to go for this level 95. And she's a female, which is excellent. So, uh, really looking forward to this, guys, because I definitely did want a griffin. And starting out, level 95 isn't bad for your first griffin. Um, obviously, it would be great if I could find lower level ones, but she is also a female, which means that I will be able to use her to get griffin kibble in the near future uh, just by taming her up pretty well here. I'm going to let her keep hitting me so that she stays aggroed. There we go. She's in. She's angry. And she's trapped. Perfect. That was so smooth and so easy. And I am so, so happy with how well that went. Uh, just making sure my RG is on passive here. And then we can start tranking this girl out. Oh, man. It was worth all of the effort. Oh, no, wait. Why are you open? Stay closed. Don't know why that happened. But luckily, she is still trapped in there. 
Um, she will continue to be mad at me now that I'm tranking at her, but we should be all right. As long as she doesn't hit the packy. Which... <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal. She's pretty strong. I don't think those packies will be able to do much damage to her. There we go. We'll just keep putting a couple of trank darts in her. Should be okay. Yep, there she goes. She's fine. Oop, and total miss. Okay. There we go. Ow. Man, their AoE is so big, honestly. This is crazy. I like how stuck she is. This is kind of a funny angle for her. Man, this trap worked out way better than I thought it would, actually. I was pretty sure I would have a hard time getting her through here, but uh, turns out not. And from here on out, it'll be a lot easier. Um, we could trap tame, or we can also, once we have this particular griffin tamed up, we can also go out and uh, tame things from the back of the griffin, which is one of the reasons why I really want one, is because you can pull out weapons on the back of them, so that means that we will actually be able to do a heck of a lot more taming just by having this griffin um, like carry us around, we'll be able to fly after things to tame them, which is gonna make all of the other taming a lot easier. It's a new method for Ket's taming, it's a new method for Giga taming, and guys, I think it's gonna be just <laughs> a little bit OP. For anyone who thinks griffins aren't worth the effort, um, I, I honestly do think that they are for the rest of the in-game content. They are probably the best travel mount uh, on the island, as far as I'm concerned. They can't carry much, so they're not like a great utility dino, but they are great for travel. And for taming. Alright, can you please... go down. I'm putting a lot of trank darts in her, and I'm a little worried about her health. Okay. This should work soon. If it doesn't, we might be in trouble here. There we go. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. She is officially down. Red mommy. Beautiful. Okay, so, uh, definitely gonna use the soothing bomb on this girl. Definitely gonna check the area real quick and make sure that nothing nasty is gonna come along and attack. Looks like we're okay. It does look like we're okay. Okay, excellent. Alright, so perfect. We are going to put some griffin kibble on her. And yeah, it still is going to take uh, quite a while, guys, to tame this girl up. Uh, level 95 Griffin is, is still quite a challenge. Um, yeah, and I do luckily... Oh, man. Okay, so I always forget narcotics, but I should have... I did make up a ton of narcotics back at base, so I should be able to go and get those pretty quickly if need be. Um, yeah, I have like five or 600 narcotics back at base, which I'm definitely going to need for... Uh, this particular griffin because I totally spaced on that and I do have a uh, chef station just in case we run out of this griffin kibble I can purchase a little bit of aloe kibble because currently my aloe has not been laying any eggs probably because I don't have a male yet um, I've had a little bit of trouble locating a male aloe to tame up so that's gonna be a thing but all right guys I'm going to wait around here and protect this griffin and I will see you guys uh, in, I guess it's going to take quite a while when we uh, have this girl all tamed up and ready to go. So I will see you guys in a while. Okay guys, so we are back and Red Mommy here is just about to take her last bite of kibble. Um, it only did take one kibble at this level to get to level, um, well, to 78.6% taming effectiveness with a soothing bomb, so I did go ahead and take one of those kibbles back, uh, and I am saving that up for the next griffin that we tame. Beautiful! Okay, so now all we need to do is find, uh, a griffin with the last name ending in, uh, an I, and we actually should be good to go on that score. Like, we will have a pair of griffins to get kibble from and uh, do whatever we need to do on that score. Now, unfortunately, the problem, the major problem with single player is that um, breeding on single player for griffins is going to be a major problem. So my goal is to literally just breed them enough to get a couple of good kibble, and then I will be using that kibble to get one high-level griffin when I find it, and that high-level griffin 
is basically going to be the be-all, end-all of griffins. Like, I'm not going to try to breed good griffins on single player because I think it will just take way too long, uh, especially given given everything I know about these guys. It's just not good enough. Um, <laughs> it's It takes too long to be able to breed them on single player. Now, on a server, it's not so bad to wait uh, 14 hours between breedings, but on single player... That's 14 hours I have to spend in game, and uh, I'm never in the game for 14 hours at a time. So, it's it's probably not going to be a thing that we do griffin breeding on single player, other than to get kibble, and even that will be um, pretty far out and in between. So I have one, I will probably get one or two more in the future, but uh, it's pretty much going to be it. I think we're going to tame like three griffins on this server, and uh, that'll be good enough for me. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out stats here. Um, health is actually really good for this level, it looks like. Weight's okay. Stam is okay. It's it's basically like a mid-range griffin, which is about what we tamed up. Um, <laughs> I will, of course, be getting a, a better one at some point. Uh, and leveling up will help pretty quickly. Because griffins are good no matter what. Um, actually, you know what? Just... Uh, Stay here, RG. You should be fine. The RG should be fine by the trap. We're going to take this guy out for a little spin, maybe fight a couple of other griffins and encourage some good spawns. Now, this one is a female, so the good news is is I only have to find one male of any level, pretty much, with the same last name as this girl, and we will have ourselves a breeding pair for kibble. Neither of these have that, and they're both low level. So I'm actually going to go ahead... And see what I can do to fight these guys. If I could get up here, that would be easier. There we go. So I will be uh, taking out some of the griffins I don't need, which really is a shame, because the one with white wings is super pretty, but uh, I, I can't see myself using a low-level griffin like that, just because they're only good for kibble, and like I said, kibble breeding on uh, these servers is not great. Now, on the far side of the island, there... Um, island. On the far side of this mountain, there is a Giga, so I'm not going to wander over there um, to check for griffins just yet. Can I please get some Stam back? Oh man, the Stam regen. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pump points into Stamina. <laughs> Since this isn't going to be my final griffin no matter what, um, I don't feel too bad pumping points into it before I breed, just because... That way the stats won't get all, all wonky on me so that I don't remember what they are, since I'm really not using her for, for real stat breeding. Um, are there any griffins over here? It would be great if there were. I would be very excited if there were griffins over here. Ooh, there's one. Oh, hey. Hey. That has the same last name as mine. It's not high level, but I actually don't need a high level since this female's pretty good. Um, and I really just want him for the kibble, to be honest. You know what? Uh, guys, this is going to be a double griffin tame episode. Um, can we... Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll lead him over to the trap. Oh, nope. Here we go. Or maybe we'll knock him out as is. Whoop, I can't see that way. Nope. Okay, I keep missing. I'm a terrible shot. <laughs> Man, I've done this, like, quite a lot, and for some reason just today, my shot's, like, not good. Uh, let's... let's actually get a little distance. Yeah, let's get a little bit more distance, and then we'll swing around and hit this guy, just to keep him interested. Uh, no? Don't get distracted. No, 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 don't hit the stego! You're gonna get killed, you silly griffin. Ah, uh, no. Oh, that's the worst. Here, let's see if we can hit the stego a few times and help it out. Oh, it's a high-level stego, too. That's great. That's really good. I love when stuff like this happens. Oh, my goodness. This is the worst. Okay, well, we killed the scorpion, at least, so that's one thing down. Oh, man, I really hope this griffin doesn't die. He's perfect for breeding and for taming, honestly. <sighs> Did he die? Did he get killed? Where did my griffin go? Did he get killed? He just disappeared. 
What happened? I think he died. I'm so upset. Dang it. Okay. Ah, I was really hoping. He was the perfect level. I had one kibble left. It would have been... It would have been ideal to tame him, because that would have been perfect for getting a good kibble griffin. Um, and now, unfortunately, I will not be able to do that until I find another male ending in that apostrophe I, which does not always happen. So, I'm a little disappointed by that stupid stegos. I was trying to keep him interested in me, and it just didn't work. Um, let's turn that off so we can do the swoop. Actually, never mind, we're out of stam. <laughs> Man, stamina on these things is terrible when you're first starting off. You do have to really pump levels into it to get it good. Um, once you get up to about 1,500 stam, that's more than enough stam to get pretty much around the entire island. Uh, so I would prioritize stam and then speed, because speed does help a little bit as well. Kind of just creeping around. Okay, there we go. Close enough. Beautiful. I love the swoop. Ugh, it's so, so good. It's so fast. Very efficient. I love this thing. Man, guys, griffins are just amazing once you get them, honestly. I, I'm so happy with griffins on this game. I'm really glad they brought them to mobile. And I'm really glad that I was able to tame one in single player. I'm going to be pretty careful with this one so that I don't lose it. Uh, for the most part, I really don't want it to get too hurt. But I really do also want to uh, get a male so that we can do one high-level griffin tame. That's all I really need is one really good griffin for this game. And then I will be pretty well set up, actually, for, for most everything, since I can't really do the breeding on single player. All right. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing any more griffins spawning in other than those three. It's all RGs. So it could take a while. Um, these... The ones that were already over here, it did take quite a while for them to spawn in. I had seen like one or maybe two of them before, but I'd not seen um, that many griffins early on. Can we... Ugh. I keep forgetting about Stam. It's so bad. And we're gonna fall. That's gonna hurt. Yep. But not too bad, so we're okay. We'll stand up on this rock. All right, that's super disappointing, though. I'm really, really bummed about that other griffin. All right, we're going to take, like, one last lap here of Far's Peak. Maybe we'll take a look at that Giga. There is a level 10 female Giga over here that I've been keeping an eye on. I do kind of want to tame her. She is pretty low level. Um, but we're definitely going to need more Stam on a griffin to do that, and I don't think I want to risk this griffin to do that. I will also probably put a gold collar on this griffin. I do have one on the RG that I can move on to the griffin. Um, before I try anything like a Giga Taming, because that would be pretty intense. Uh, solo Giga Taming is definitely on my list of things to do. There she is. You can see her. But, uh, I'd rather not <laughs> risk life and limb to get her. So, uh, definitely gonna be a thing after we get a really good griffin, or this griffin may be leveled up quite a bit before we try that. <laughs> okay. Not seeing a whole lot in the area. Uh, once again, my swoop is broken, and I have to land for Stam. Let's go ahead and do that before we actually run out. Hello, Iguanodon friend. They're so amazing. All right. Well, yeah, guys. So, I don't think I see any more here in this area. Uh, we did just clear out the front. Now, they might spawn back in as I fly over there, but I highly doubt it. So, guys, um... I really do think that this is probably going to be the end of the episode. So, uh, if you did find yourself enjoying it, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below. And yeah, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.